In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create a standalone web page that allows end users to upload data to FME Server and run a workspace that uses that uploaded data. In the FME Server web user interface, open the workspace you published in Part 1 by clicking on Run Workspace, Data Upload, select the workspace from the list, and finally, Data Download. Scroll down and expand the Developer Information section. The Direct URL Example option provides an easy way to run a workspace from a web browser by simply copying and pasting the URL into the address bar of a web browser before hitting Enter to run the workspace. The Form Example option is basic JavaScript that allows you to get started with building a custom web page, which is what we'll do now. Copy the entire form example and paste the text into a text editor. You can use any text editor to save the file as data-upload.html. Here we are saving the file into a web-accessible location. I have an Apache web server installed and am copying the file into the web folder of that server. Additionally, you can make use of a service like Amazon S3 to host the page. Now let's go back to our web browser and we'll access the new web page with the following URL. Let's try and run the workspace by uploading the weekend field playstatus.csv file. Click on Choose File and select the CSV file. This puts the file into Resources. Now enter weekend play field status.csv into the field status file field. Then click on the Run button. The workspace does not run because we need to assign some privileges. First, we need to allow anyone to run the workspace from our custom web page. And next, we need to allow a separate web server to be able to send requests to FME Server.